Hey, what's it doing? What? Chicken gar. What is in our chicken coop? I'm Cassie. And I'm Gary. And this is Ransom, and we are a Walker Farm fam. Is this your first time here? We're a family of five who is farming our 60 acre farm. If this is your first time here, then you might not know we're working on a chicken coop. So we've been working on this coop for a couple of weeks now, or maybe even a month. How long, Ransom? Um, probably a month. Probably a month. We've been working on it a little while. We're working on getting it done as quick as we can so the chickens have a good place to uh, be cooped up in the winter time. So while designing this chicken coop, we've taken in lots of consideration. An automatic door was something that was very important for us. So we started looking around and there's a ton of them out there. We were trying to find what, was, what would be best for our coop, our farm, and our chickens. We came across Chicken Guard and uh, quickly realized that it's about the best automatic door out there. So we are very blessed that they have partnered with us uh, to send us one of these doors to try out and uh, put it to the ultimate test. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll give you a quick tour around the coop, um, just a quick look around um, to give you an idea of the coop. And kind of where we're at in the building stage right now is we've got the siding mostly done. Um, the only thing we're gonna do next is install all of the doors. So we're gonna install this door today and uh, we'll also be installing our other two doors and then we'll be putting up trim. So there'll be a trim piece up here and trim around the edges and then it'll be finished up. So this is just the stage we're in, is the door stage to get this put on. So if you find that this is a good fit for you and an automatic door you wanna check out, down in the description, there's a link. Uh, so it doesn't cost you extra to use our link. It's just something that uh, Chicken Guard has said, hey, as a thank you for uh, promoting our door, uh, we're gonna give you a little bit to put back into the farm. So we appreciate if you like this, use that link below and get one for yourself. All right, so first things first is that is getting this out of the box. So what we received was the uh, Chicken Guard Extreme. So if you go to their website, and um, again, that's in the description, you can check out all the different models that they have available. Um, there are different price points, but this is the one that we thought was best for us because it has a self-locking feature. So it really gives us peace of mind um, because we do have raccoons. We've seen coons here and possum and other predators. I know if you've dealt with coons at all, they can even get their little paws in there and, and try to start opening latches and stuff. Um, so this was the extreme locking door, seemed like the best option for us. So as we open it up, right out of the box, we got the instructions. Cassie loves instructions, don't you Cassie? Yeah, Gary likes to do stuff without instructions, but we want this done precise, so we will keep these. Yeah, I have a feeling I'll need the instructions, maybe, maybe for programming the, the door, um, but we'll see. So right here on top is chicken guard door. So let's just spin it around there. Um, and as you saw, when I pulled up yeah. on the lever here, I don't know if you can see that close or not, but it's got the little locking mechanisms. So when I pull, it unlocks. So as soon as it gets some pull on it, it automatically unlocks and lets the door raise. What else we got in here? So, Right in the middle is the unit itself that has the pulley inside uh, for a couple of batteries. And it has the options for programming, the three buttons right there. So again, we'll read the directions and make sure we get that right. Right here is the warranty. It has a three year warranty. Um, and so all the information you need to know about that is uh, right here. Also a uh, bigger instruction. Yeah. Uh, so this tells you, this actually is what it tells you what all is inside of the kit. And then right here is the instruction booklet with lots of information um, if you ever have a question uh, throughout the year while you're using it. So we'll be looking for the English, but it looks like there's a lot of different languages in there. Yes. So let's get this thing. So over here on the right hand side, as we unbox it, uh, looks like it has all of the tracks for the door. So 
Um, it has track A1 and B1 and A and B. So those will go it's together. Easy. Yeah, A and A1 together, B and B1 together. Pretty straightforward. And all right, look at that. They cool. included the batteries. That's always awesome. Anytime you get a product that includes the batteries. Yeah, you know. it's a high energy battery. So those should last uh, quite a while. And then uh, screws. So four of these will probably be for the chicken guard uh, unit since it's only got four holes. And the other screws are for the tracks. So one thing we're really looking forward to is being able to allow the chicken door to open up um, like today on a weekend on Saturday. We don't get to sleep in very often and we're always busy on weekdays having to rush around and get the kids ready. We want to sleep in on the weekends. So what this chicken door will allow us to do is almost something that's priceless. <laughs> yeah. That is allow our chickens to get out and get in the sun and start um, start gathering bugs and grass and stuff without us having to do anything. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, and there's no uh, human error. This never forgets. Sometimes it's, uh, we put the kids in bed and we look at each other and say, oh, did you put the chickens up? And I'm like, oh man, I forgot. With this, we'll ne it never forgets. They will be let, let out and put up like clockwork. What have you been up to? Did you make something? Yeah. What is that? So Rant, I gave Ransom some nails and some wood and a hammer, and this is what he came back with. <laughs> Looks like he's been hard at work outside. I saw a church. That's a church? Oh, you yeah. made a church? Good yeah. job, buddy. I saw a church. Our church. Boom, we love it. It looks awesome. Do you need some more nails? Yeah. Okay, well, Daddy, get, Daddy, get your nails and your hammer, okay? okay. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have a good flat spot to install the uh, chicken guard door and the siding I'm using is a rough oak um, solid one inch or three quarter to one inch uh, siding. It's a board and batten style siding and so it has uneven places that stick out. So to go around this door we're just going to go in with some wood um, that is completely flat. That way we have something flat for it to sit against. So if you're installing one of these, you may have to do a little rough work to prepare it um, to the right size hole. So we'll go ahead and, and install this right now. So I went ahead and cut these two boards uh, just to fit right around this. So what we're gonna do is, is even them up and then center them right in our hole. And this will give us, again, a good flat spot to install those on. So if you wanna hold it right in the middle. The edge is good. All right, so that was our last screw. We got a, a nice flat surface all the way around and we have the door cut to the dimensions um, for the door itself. So as you can see, I made it about to where it just comes down and whatever the main thing you want is no gaps around the edges. So you can see when that comes down and locks into place, it's going to- It's really sealed up. Yeah, it's gonna be sealed up all the way around. And that was another reason I went and went ahead and put some flat um, cedar that had been dried out because it won't shrink and won't um, be susceptible to the elements like this green oak will. So just a little bit of change right there, but we're gonna be using some of the cedar for trim anyway. So it'll go with the rest of the coop. So I got A and A1 here for the tracks and B and B1 here for the tracks. I think Gary's got them figured out though. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward because um, it just slides together There's like only this. one way to do it, huh? Yep. And then once it's in there, it's in. And then the locking mechanism is down here at the bottom. Uh, so you can see right there that it locks. So you know that this is going to have to go on this side because it's this side track. Get sawdust out of the way. In my face. And we're gonna have that there, and then the other one's over here. So I would recommend that you have two people doing this um, when you do it, oh, wrong way, just like that. There we go. Because what we wanna be able to do is leave a little bit of room on each side of this to uh, be able to open and shut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Cassie's side first. Uh, the other thing is, I want to say this is plastic, but it's very heavy duty quality. It's not some little cheap. No, all these parts feel really 
uh, rigid like they're gonna last. And so we'll go ahead and I wanna, I wanna push, just kind of push it up there and see exactly how it's gonna fit so I can know where we wanna center it at. Oh, did you, you make some more? Wow. <laughs> you want to show everybody? Whoa, that's a lot of nails. Can you drive them a little bit further in there? Okay, let me see. But this is a fence, and this is oh, and you have one more and one more and one more. And one more, that, more. And that will be done. And your fence will be done? Mm -hmm. Okay, grab a few more out of that box. This needs this one. Okay. All right. All right. You good? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. No more. That's a lot of nails. All right, so we have it kind of centered up where we want it at now. And so what we're going to do is take this down and then have Cassie hold this side right here solid. And I'm going to do a little bit of a pre drill uh, just to make sure that we don't crack out this wood because it's not real wide down here at the bottom. Just making some pilot holes to get those started in. All right. All right, so now that we have the right bit, trade that out, put in a couple screws. Don't want to over tighten these. Hey, sissy. Hey, sis. Working on the chicken garden, chicken coop. You want to tell everybody hi? <laughs> you want to tell everybody hi? Yeah. All right. So we got one side in. As we can see right here, I'm just going to kind of keep a little pressure on this side and raise it up. Looks good for that track. So the next one. I'm going to hold in on it and pretend we have some screws. Not yet. Okay, pull, see if it'll pull up now. Good. Mm -hmm. We're going to back it off just a hair to give it a little bit of room to uh, kind of go side to side in there, not much. going to put a couple screws in and we're going to test it out see if that this is how we like it you can see right there the lock works really well that thing isn't going anywhere no you gotta like hawk it to break it if you want in there yeah oh, buddy look at our, our door. door you want to check it out hey go inside there and then put your head in and we'll lift it up and we'll see rain some. You want to? Would Daddy help you in? Yeah. Pop in there. Okay, now get down on your knees. You good? Yeah. All right, so we have the chicken door uh, pretty much installed. Let's test it out. Any chickens in there? Any chickens? Oh, I see out. something. It's a ransom chicken. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, watch <laughs> out. That hurts you right there, buddy. Got plenty of room, don't you? Now, see if you can open it. Real can easy. Can you push it up? Oh, he's locked in. Oh. So kind of the test I want to do here is to see if it would fall on its own. And it looks like it's not. So I'm going to do a little adjusting. A little too tight. A little too something. Yeah. I see what the problem is. So it's not letting down because because those pop out yeah because these pop out so if you let you have to hold the string up and it falls okay right and then when it gets to the bottom the pressure will be let off and it'll lock yep but it's got to have that pressure in order to slide yeah so give it one final test here whenever you're holding up on the mechanism it goes up easy 
and also goes down easy and it locks into place. That was way easier than I expected. Yeah, not bad at all, especially with the two tracks. Um, one other thing that we know or that we did read in the directions is whenever this door is up, you want to have about four inches between the bottom of the, the closing mechanism and the string. So you want about four inches of space right here. And so when we program it, we want it to raise up to this point. So we left a four inch gap and then enough room up here to install the, the closing mechanism. So let's go ahead and get that installed. So now that we've got the door installed, next up is for the control to raise and lower the door. So it was already made to where this was loose and there's four screws and bolts in here or screws that will hold this together. So this is the battery pack that comes with it that holds four batteries. And like we showed you, the batteries are included. And uh, I need to go back and look. I read on their uh, website how long batteries usually last. I was thinking it said six months or more. It was a long time. Yeah. So it's not like you have to come out and change these batteries often. So we just installed the batteries and then connected them. They popped on really easy. Okay, so Gary's grabbing a screwdriver. Um, this was inside the package and we weren't quite sure what it was, so we read again and it is a piece of silicone to uh, place in here to kind of seal up and protect this from the weather. So there's a little channel right here and you put this little silicone inside this little channel and it just kind of sucks in on its own. And um, this is to protect all the hardware and the batteries from the outside elements to kind of just give it a little extra seal. All right, so teamwork makes the dream work. I got this side, can you pull it through? And then they said if there was any extra to cut it off. We got any extra? Yep, there's gonna be a little extra. And grab the scissors. All right, so kind of find the place that we need to cut it. It'll be about right there. All right, so that's good to go. And then put that in place. So this is really gonna be nice, giving us peace of mind. I just asked Cassie last night after we had gotten to bed, I said, did you shut the chickens up? I said, cause how awful would it be if we lost all of our chickens just before we got the chicken guard? Yeah, so we have peace of mind that this is gonna keep our hands safe and uh, that this is gonna be a valuable asset to the farm. So we get all of these snugged up and now it's time to break out the manual because Figure out how to get this all programmed. Time to program it and get it tied off so we can uh, see how it works. So we're getting close to being finished. So far the menu is really easy. Um, I'd said to, to start programming it, get it into the fully open position. So before I can do that, I've got to tie the door up and we'll get into that fully open position. So we're just going to tie a regular knot of sorts right here. Give it a couple ties. That should give it a hold. So now we're going to do the menu button to, we want to bring this up to the fully open position. A little bit higher. Okay. So press menu when fully opened. So I press the menu button when I got it fully opened. Um, the instruction now is to press down until it's fully closed and then press the menu button again. So all we're doing right now is calibrating the door and also testing our tracks out to make sure they work well. And when it goes down and locks, we'll know it's fully down. The door will now open fully on its own. Pretty little smart device here. All right, so the calibration's complete. Uh, the door's fully open. And now we're going to read through the settings to do the dawn to dusk setting. So that's what we want um, once we get it outside. But it'll be another probably week or so before we get it out there. So we'll want to make sure and calibrate it at that time. Yeah, so there's several different options on dawn to dusk and different things like that. 
So we're going to start out with the dawn to dusk, see how it works out for us and go from there. So it was that easy. All we had to do was make sure that we had a good flat spot to install it with the proper um, size door and how, on a scale of one to 10, how easy do you think that was? That was super easy. Um, I can put stuff together, but sometimes I'm like, have to go get Gary and be like, hey, help me out, I don't understand this. But I feel like I could have done all that by myself. Um, but you do need more than two hands to kind of hold it. But as far as the easiness, really simple. So on a scale from one to 10, oh. <laughs> how easy do you think that was? 10 being the easiest? Yeah. That was a 10. Yeah, I think it was a 10 for sure because, um, you know, the simple part of the four tracks and, and putting them together and then installing this, I mean, the only other thing you really need two people for is to hold it good and level while you're screwing it in. It was time to calibrate it. It walked you through it. It told you exactly what to do right here. Very, very simple. So we're excited to show you more about the chicken guard door once we have it outside and set up and our hands in place. Um, so far, we feel very confident about this product and we can't wait to show you more in the future. So if you're interested in one of these for yourselves, we highly recommend it so far as far as the installation goes and stay tuned um, for more videos, but you can go down in the description below and you can find the link to this exact product. So we did a lot of research trying to find the best door and from our research, this is the best door on the market that not only functions uh, correctly, but also locks in place so that your hands can be safe. And if you do have um, any questions, their customer service is rated at five stars. So that's another thing I noticed pretty quickly was they have some of the best customer service on the market as well, which really means a lot because if you're in the middle of um, installing it and you run into a snag or something, which I don't think you would, um, but if you have any questions and you want answers now, then they have um, multi-language customer service to be able to help you out um, no matter where you're at. So if you guys caught our last live, we opened up a package from the farm on Route 66. They sent Gary and I both a hat. Let me check out my hat. Uh, Gary got one too. They also sent lots of um, fun things for the kids, slingshots and some big old suckers and a necklace for Mazzy. And you guys can check out that video. I'll put an iCard up here. But I want you guys head on over to the farm on Route 66. They're out um, in Arizona and uh, check them out. Give them a subscribe. Tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you. We truly appreciate them and their kindness to our family. Yeah, we really do appreciate that. I'm not wearing my hat because I didn't want to get it all sweaty um, out here in the shop because I've been working around here cleaning up and stuff. And I'm going to work on the doors um, tomorrow because we have another soccer game today. Ranger is back into soccer and it's been a busy week. Um, and we're going to finish it up with a game. So we might throw a little bit of footage in at the end of this video. If you want to see that, just stay tuned. Yeah, you guys liked it last time. So uh, we'll try to get some footage at the game and then I'll throw it in at the end. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below and be watching for more videos uh, to let you know how this performs. We hope you guys have a, a great, great day. And as always, God bless.